What's up, Cal Gang? We got some more line integral problems. It's just line integrals all day, every day on this YouTube channel. But it wants us to find this line integral. Ooh, it looks pretty ugly on this integral or on this uh, this line basically. So if we were to do this normally, uh, we would have four lines, and I honestly think this might be impossible to solve the other way. I'm just like, like I don't know, tan in inverse tangent of y. If you plug it in like this, it's like it's gonna be so ugly, guys. Okay, so ooh, okay. So we're gonna use Green's theorem, and what Green's theorem tells us is that if our region is simple and closed, basically if it's closed and it's like simple and it doesn't have like any holes inside of it, and it goes counterclockwise, then our our line integral is just equal to the double or the double integral of the region basically, and then you take the derivative of q with respect to x and subtract it from the derivative of t with respect to y. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna show you guys how you do this. So I'm gonna first start by labeling. This is going to be our p. And this is going to be our q. It's what signs up with the dx and the dy. All right. So let's let's first prove that Green's theorem is satisfied. There's no holes in our region. It goes counterclockwise. If it goes clockwise, say it was going the other way, you could just add a negative sign and then say it's uh, the other way around. That's a one way to work around it. But thankfully, our region does go counterclockwise. It's closed. It's simple. It's good. It's perfect. We can do a double integral on this. So we first need to find the derivative of q with respect to x and the derivative of q with respect to y. So let's do it. Where's the glare? It's over here. All right, so the derivative of q with respect to y, so this with respect to y, of x, I meant. I don't know, I did that yesterday too. I keep making dumb mistakes right now. All right, with respect to x, you need to remember it because it's the opposite. This is corresponding to y, you take the derivative with respect to x. So, of course, luckily we're gonna get rid of that inverse tangent of y. Just delete it entirely, we don't need it. And say, uh, so it's gonna be, what is it? 6x, pretty cool and then derivative of p with respect to y, because it's the corresponding x. Uh, with respect to y, perfect, it gets rid of like everything, zero. Nice, this is so easy, watch this. All right, let's set up our integral, perfect, right? All right, so I hope you guys know your double integrals by now, set converting to polar. So let's look at our region, all right? Uh, we can use polar for this, right? It's circular, we have our sphere, so this is gonna be radius squared is equal to one, uh, so radius is equal to one. This is radius squared is equal to four, so radius is equal to two. So it goes from radius one to two, and then theta goes from zero to pi over two, right? All right, so let's plug in what we got. So it's gonna be six x, six x, but we have x is equal to r cosine theta because we're using polar, so r cosine theta. And then it's gonna be subtracted by zero, so we don't have to worry about that, perfect. So then of course we have to put in our r dr d theta when we put in our polar. So perfect, this is a pretty easy integral. This is just like back to what we were doing way earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and solve it, uh, so pi over 2, so the, these, these uh, r's are going to come together, so it's going to be r squared, so it's going to turn to r3, r cubed, over 3, so it's going to be 2 r cubed cosine of theta, and this is going to be on the graph from 1 to 2, so it's going to be 8 minus 1, so it's going to be 7 times 2 is 14, so our integral is going to be equal to uh, 14 cosine of theta, don't forget your t theta like I did, from 0 to pi over 2. Integrating this, it's going to be equal to 14. Bring that out. So it's going to be sine of theta from 0 to pi over 2, which, of course, is going to be equal to 14. 1 minus 0, which is equal to 14. That's our final answer. That's how you use uh, Green's theorem. I love Green's theorem. It makes calculus so much easier. Imagine if you had to integrate this, guys. Look at that. It's a beast, I don't wanna do that. All right. So yeah, that's how you do these kind of problems. Pretty simple stuff, pretty fun. Just uh, remember your formula here, and you'll be all set. So yeah, good luck in your calculus homework, guys.